Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this amazing, if I do say so myself, because we all know that I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> this really cool, like grungy, festive look. I did like a halo eye kind of vibe. The shimmers and the greens make it really perfect for this party season. I am using all products off of Look Fantastic, who are the sponsor of this video today, which I am so excited about because I've been such a huge fan of Look Fantastic for such a long time. So if you don't know what Look Fantastic is, you can find all your favorite beauty products on there. They've got a range from drugstore to higher end, basically everything that you need. But yes, party season is here. I hope we're all excited. I know I definitely am. Yeah, I just wanted to create like a really cool, kind of my style of holiday grungy Christmas glam and share some of my holiday glam essentials from Look Fantastic with you guys. It's kind of a mix. I've got some stuff that is truly tried and tested by me that I've been using for years that I absolutely love. And then some of it is first impressions, but I mean, I hope you can tell by my face that everything I used was incredible. And I'm so excited to share this look with you and share some of the newer products that I've just discovered today with you guys. And hopefully put you guys onto some holiday glam essentials for yourselves so you can create some amazing looks this party season. As always, everything that I use will be linked down below. I will also have a discount code for you guys which will be on the screen right now and written down below in the description box. So definitely check that out if you guys are looking for some cheeky discounts. You could even use it on some Christmas gifts for your friends and family, you know, beauty and makeup lovers. I know I said I was gonna do my everyday makeup routine but I wanted to put this one out here first, obviously, so that you guys could get the discount if you are interested in any of the products, which I know you guys will be. But I will be doing that video soon. And to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this could turn into my everyday makeup look. I am so obsessed and I can't wait to use the palette that I use to try out like different looks because it's, oh, I just can't wait for you guys to see the palette. Do you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna shut up and you guys can watch the video. So we have the tried and tested Urban Decay Primer Potion. For today, we are going to use the original I love the applicator on this. I think it's such cute packaging as well. I'm just gonna pop that just a bit on my eyelids. I love the consistency of this. It's got that really nice kind of silicone-y feel. And as you can see, there's no color, which I really like for today's look. And because we're using dark shades as well, I don't feel like they need to be made to pop as much either. Onto the star of the show. I have got the Jackie Aina Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I had to do it because the colors on this palette look absolutely insane like so beautiful there's quite a nice like variety as well do you see that oh, i'm really excited to use this one i'm gonna start with one of the more fl oh that feels so nice i'm gonna start with one of the more fluffier blending brushes and i'm gonna take the color ginger wow okay the payoff on that looks insane already i haven't actually put it on my eye yet but it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna just take the shade ginger and start blending that through my crease this color is beautiful. I love warm eyeshadow tones. Oh, no, wait, this is so nice. Blend out the edges a little bit as much as I can. That is such a beautiful shade. Then we'll go back in with the skinnier one and I'm gonna mix a tiny bit of edges into ginger. Focus that a little bit more in the crease just to define the crease a bit more. That is so pretty. And I'm just gonna wing that out just a tiny bit because I always do. I just f feel like that flatters my eye a little bit more. Then I'm gonna take the even smaller little blending brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Credit, this beautiful plummy brown. Tap off the excess always. And I'm just gonna start placing that on the outer corner. I think I'm gonna do like a kind of halo eye look. You know when there's like a shimmer in the center? I think that kind of look is so beautiful, especially for Christmas, like that kind of spotlight vibe. Oh my gosh, you guys, this color is stunning. And the eyeshadow, the quality of this eyeshadow is beautiful. It is so easy to blend. Look at me talking like I know what I'm talking about. The, the payoff is stunning, so you barely need to use any. And yeah, the colors are just beautiful. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna try and make it a bit more concentrated right on the outer corner. Bring that into the inner corner, but like, not too much. I don't want it to be as dark on the inner corner. I feel like that can really close off your eyes. And I don't have huge eyes anyway. Oh, look. Guys, I'm not being funny, but I am not the best at blending makeup. I'm not the best at makeup, full stop. But the way these shadows are blending is absolutely stunning. I think the brushes are really, really good as well. I'm into it. 
I'm gonna take a tiny bit of credit and just, yeah, take it into the crease just a tiny bit. Blend that all out again, just to make sure it's quite diffused. That is so beautiful. I'm then gonna take the shade, sponsored. How stunning does that look? It looks like a duochrome. I'm just gonna swatch it. I'm not being funny, but is that not, oh, that is beautiful. So I'm just gonna take that on my finger and start, I could cry. This look is everything I wanted it to be when I saw this palette. Ah! I'm just gonna really concentrate that on the center of the eye first. <gasps> Oh my goodness, you guys, this is absolutely stunning. And then just lightly, oh no, I've messed up. I've taken it a bit too high. See, this is what happens. I'm just gonna blend out that top bit just to try and get rid of some of that. But you guys, how beautiful is that? Oh, I just can't. I'm gonna take a bit more of Sponsored and really like just rub it into the center to make it a bit more intense and just make it pop. I... I'm in love. I am in love. That's it. Look at that. Oh. Right, so I'm gonna finish off the bottom of the eye now. For that, I'm gonna take more of that dark shade credit on the smaller brush. In fact, in fact, I'm gonna use this even smaller little brush. This is the A16. And I'm just gonna bring credit right underneath the eye. And I'm gonna do the same on the inside. And I'm gonna take the slightly bigger brush and I'm gonna go back in with Edges and Ginger and just blend that out so the line isn't as harsh. I'm gonna go back in with that smaller brush, dig it back into the shade Sponsored, which is just absolutely unbelievable, and just pop that right in the center there. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the other eye and I'll be back. Okay, both eyes done. I'm just gonna like diffuse the edges just a little bit more. Because it's quite heavy look, I do wanna like soften it a little bit so it doesn't look so harsh. I'm just gonna brush off. I did get some fallout, which is to be expected with a great eyeshadow palette because the, um, the payoff is just so good. This is my favorite eyeliner ever. I use this pretty much every day in my upper waterline. It is the, the Revlon Sophist Vinyl Eyeliner in the shade Mighty Mocha. Oi. which is just a beautiful chocolatey brown shade. The reason I love this so much is, again, the payoff is just insane. It is so creamy. Look, that was with such a light hand as well. But it is so creamy that it goes into the waterline really easily. It doesn't irritate my eyes. And it lasts all day for me. And I've got really, like, le I call them leaky eyes. I get really watery eyes very easily. So this is amazing. And the fact that it's, like, you know, a drugstore product... It's not ridiculously priced. Just makes me so happy. It's such a great product. So I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. I know you guys can see a difference between this eye and that eye now. And I didn't even need to open or lift my waterline for you guys to see that. I'm gonna get right in the inner corner as well. Oh, I just love it. I feel like that really helps to tie the look together and just block out any kind of lighter spaces and really make the eye look super smoky, which we love. I think that's it for the eyeshadow. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I'm super proud of myself right now because I'm not usually that good at eyeshadow. <laughs> I did order lashes, but they haven't come yet. So I'm just gonna pop on some mascara and if I can find some other lashes, I'll throw those on and I will come back. I'm gonna clean up my skin as well. And then we shall move on to the rest of the face and the lips, which I'm super excited about as well. Eyes are done. I've added the mascara. I don't think I actually needed to add lashes. I will link the mascara that I used down below. I feel like it looks pretty nice, although this would absolutely bang with lashes. But yeah, I couldn't find any. And I also feel like I kind of like it like this. It's a little bit more grungy and dressed down, which is more so my style these days. So I did both top and bottom lashes. I did end up going in and just darkening up my eyebrows just a little bit because I felt like they looked way too light for this makeup look. I don't usually go this heavy or dark. I'm kind of loving it though. Now that I've done the eyes, I feel like we can actually have a chat because I feel like I don't need to concentrate as hard anymore. So yeah, for the next part of the face, we are gonna do blush. I usually use cream blush, but I felt like doing powder. This Revolution palette, you guys, if you have been watching me for absolutely years, I used to use this 
all the time. And this is the Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in the color Sugar and Spice. Just some really beautiful peachy pinky tones. I'm so excited to try this out again. It's been so long. I'm gonna go for this shade, which on the palette I think is shade eight. I think it's the darkest one. I just think it will match this look probably best. I forgot how pigmented this is, you guys. This is beautiful. I'm just gonna like gently pat that in whilst also kind of blending downwards. I This is probably completely wrong, but that's how I do it. And I've been taking it super high up on the cheeks just to lift the face a little bit. I just feel like this suits my face structure and shape so much more. And it is just really flattering for like everyone. I remember why I love this palette so much. It's just, again, the color payoff is amazing. The colors are beautiful. The blend is great. And the price point on this, you guys, if you guys have not tried Revolution, which I'm sure loads of you have by now, because it's been around for years, but if you haven't, go check it out, because the, the products are insane. I'm also gonna take a tiny bit of that across the top of my nose as well. Just think it's cute, and it ties everything in together really nicely. Oh God, my eyes itchy. Oh no, this is not the time to have an itchy eye. <laughs> How are we feeling about Christmas and party season being here? I know that everybody's probably already said this, but I just can't believe that we're at this point in the year already, it's insane. I'm excited for Christmas this year. I think it's gonna be a, a hell of a lot better than it has been the last couple of years. So yeah, I'm excited. How are you guys feeling about it all? Oh, I forgot to show you the box. You can never go wrong with this lip liner. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil. I use this every day, but in a different shade. But when I saw this shade, I was like, it's brown, it's beautiful, it's for me. <laughs> I got it in the shade Conspiracy, which is like a really gorgeous brown shade and I'm super excited to try this. I do overline one side of my lips a bit more just because my lips are uneven. Is anyone else's lips like purpley blue at the moment because it's just so cold or is that just me because my lips vary from like blue, purple, grey, never really pink. I have got a bit of a lip stain on but do you see the actual colour of my lips right now? <laughs> anyway, let's go in with Conspiracy. Well, the reason I love these lip liners so much is because they are so creamy and the colour is just so intense. It might as well be a lipstick. They're just so easy to use. They literally, as it says in the name, glide on. And oh, the colours that they do are just beautiful. You guys know I love Urban Decay. It's no secret. I think this shade might have to replace the other one that I use every single day because I just love that it's so brown. <gasps> oh, it goes so well with the eyes. I could cry. I'm so proud of this look. <laughs> Last but not least, we are using the, this is a new product for me, but I've been obsessed. I keep saying obsessed, I'm so sorry. But I have been obsessed with using lip plumping glosses at the moment. I found a few that I really love and I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to add this one to that collection. This is the Project Lip Plump and Gloss and it says, warning, this product will tingle, which is what we want, I think. The shade is called Tingle as well. But what drew me to this, obviously it's plumping um, and we love a juicy lip. Also, do you remember when I used to be only about the matte lip? Like, I'm all about a glossy lip now. Anyway, the thing that drew me to this was that it's got like shimmery, glittery bits in it, which obviously is perfect for party season. And I just think is absolutely stunning. And I haven't found one of those plumping glosses that I like that also have this kind of finish to them. It's almost like the Fenty Gloss Bomb. I don't remember the shade, but just the clear one. And I love those. So if this has that same kind of finish, but also plumps my lips that I'm gonna be so happy. Let's give it a go. Oh my God. How pretty is that? I'm gonna give that a second to see if it tingles and I'll let you guys know. I know I asked you guys if you're excited for the party season and for Christmas, but I also like, what are your plans? What is everyone doing this, um, this year? If you guys follow me on Instagram, a lot of you guys will probably know that I am very often between London and Manchester. So it's been really difficult to kind of plan things to do this year. I don't have much family in the UK or even close anymore. So yeah, I'm interested to know what you guys are doing. If you guys can give me any ideas of what to get up to with Bay. Let me know if you guys are from Manchester as well, what there is to do up there, because I'll definitely be there, I'm sure, at some point during the Christmas party season. I'm so excited for this year. I'm definitely gonna take a bit of time off from working to just enjoy the holidays this year because it's been a crazy last two years. Okay, I'm definitely feeling the tingles now. I feel like I've got some on my tongue, which is probably not great. <laughs> but yeah, I'd love to know what you guys are gonna be up to. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing um, Christmas, whatever you guys 
do end up doing and I hope that if you haven't been able to see family and loved ones for, for a while now that you get to finally see them this year. Okay yeah it's definitely tingling, I can feel it. My lips defo look juicy. I love this lip liner so much. But yeah, that's the look. I love it. I feel like it is super grungy with like a festive twist. I cannot get over these eyes. I'm just gonna do a bit, bit of posing, you know. I wish my hair was a bit more cute, but you know, we move. <laughs> I definitely just swallowed some of that lip gloss. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really enjoyed creating this makeup look and filming this video. I definitely feel like I wanna do more makeup stuff. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Let me know down below in the description bar. Let's have a chat. Thank you so much to Look Fantastic for working with me on this video and guys don't forget that there is a discount code for you guys to get your hands on all of your favourite makeup and beauty bits. I hope you have an amazing Christmas. I'm sure I'll see you before then. Maybe, maybe for Vlogmas. I'm not saying anything but you know. Okay, I'm gonna go finish off a TikTok now because I feel good. I feel great. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys all in the next video. Until next time. Bye! Mwah.